Right, I'm going to make a very short video about this question because a lot of students come to my Facebook actually ask me about this question. They say this is one of the hot questions or they call it KBAT question for SBM Modern Math. Okay, basically this question is from past year. It's 2014 past year, paper 2, question number two. Uh, I mean paper 2 question number 2 yes okay if you read the question you understand this one actually is a simultaneous equation question so basically you will need to form two equation and then you will need to either use substitution methods or elimination method to solve up to solve the two equation and find out the unknown value which is something like a or b or x or y Right, so yeah, without wasting time, I will go into this question quickly. So the question says the price of 1 kg of durian and 1 kg of jackfruit is 11 ringgit. And the difference between the price, uh, the difference between 3 kg of durian and 1 kg of jackfruit is actually 5 ringgit. Alright, so for this kind of question, the first thing is I will do something like, yeah, let x or y or let, uh, yeah, let x become durian or let, let y become the jackfruit. But in this case, in order to make the question look simple, so I will use d to represent the, the price of durian. So I will say d actually will re represent the price of durian. And I will use j to represent the price of jackfruit. Right? So, yes. And then from... From the question itself, I mean from the first sentence, actually I can form the first equation and I will form the second equation from my second sentence. And the objective of this question is actually, I mean the purpose of this question is to ask you to find the price of 1 kg of jackfruit. Alright, so that means I will need to find the values of j at the end. Okay, so over here, I will need to form first equation first. You say 1 kg of durian, so I assume it's 1d. That's mean 1 kg multiple the price of durian plus 1 kg of jackfruit, I call 1j, will equals to 11 ringgit. So I write the 11 here basically means uh, ringgit. So this one actually means rm, and the 1 actually means kg, and the 1 here actually means kg. So you just imagine like 1 kg of uh, 1 kg and then multiple the price of durian. Let's say price of durian is 2 ringgit, that's mean 1 multiple 2. If 1 kg, if 1 kg of durian it means 5 ringgit, mean 1 multiple 5. If let's say I change the kg to 3 kg, so if durian is 5 ringgit, just 3 times 5. This is how this equation works, alright? Then I will need to form the second equation. The question says the difference of the price between 3 kg of durian and 1 kg of jackfruit is 5 ringgit. So when I see the word different, first thing that comes to my mind is I have to do something with, to do with minus. Because different, like between di different of a and b, that's that's mean we, I will need some use something like a minus b or b minus a, right? So over here, he said different between three kg of durian. So I assume it's three d. And then, and one kg of jackfruit. So I will do minus one j equals to five ringgit. So this is how I do. This is this is something like one uh, three kg of durian. Minus 1 kg of jackfruit means the difference between them will be 5 ringgit. Alright. Okay. But some students might ask, why can't I use 1j minus 3d? It, it, it doesn't make sense, right? Because, because ov over here, obviously the price of durian is higher the, and then the price of jackfruit is smaller. Alright. Now we just assume it's like that. Okay. But, but yeah, you can still... You can still argue that maybe the price of jackfruit is ten ringgit and durian is one ringgit. Yeah, it's still possible. But but if you think like that, you're trying to think something like, uh, if ten minus three, you 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 will not get five. So yeah, so this is the reason why I will use durian minus the three kg of durian minus one kg of jackfruit. Yeah, you, you can do some my words like. This one equals to 9, this one equals to 2, then you see whether you can get 5 or not. But over here, I will just use simultaneous equation to solve it. Like. It's easier. And over here, when I see I have 1D and 1D, I will try to use elimination method because it seems easier for me. So, in order to make 1J my, minus 1J over here, I will do something like this. I call this one first equation, second equation. Then, basically, I will plus them. I will use the first equation plus the second equation. 
why I would do that? If I use minus, you just imagine one j minus negative one j basically you get two j. But elimination method is is something like this. You have to eliminate j or you have to eliminate d. Okay, in this case I eliminate j because one j minus one j there's zero. So we means no more j's over here. So 1d plus 3d, I will have 4d. And 11 plus 5, I will get 16. So I, I can easily get the price of durian is like 16 divided by 4, which is 4 ringgit. That's mean 1 kg of durian is 4 ringgit. Okay, when I say d over here, price of durian, actually this one means 1 kg. Huh? Same, same to jackfruit, this one means 1 kg. That's mean if I get the values of D, that's mean I understand 1 kg of durian, it will cost 4 ringgit. Then the question asks me to find 1 kg of jackfruit. So basically I will substitute D equals to 4 into 1 or 2 to find out the values of J. But in this case I use uh, first equation. So what I will do is I will write something like this. Substitute D equals to 4 into my first equation. So I will get 1 multiple 4 plus 1j, which is, I call it j, equals to 11. So j basically equals 11 minus 4, which is 7. Okay, this is how we solve this kind of question. So I write, therefore, the price of 1 kg of jackfruit, which is j, okay, jackfruit is 7 ringgit. All right, if you get the answer, you can try to look back to the question and you will find out the answer is very makes sense. So, assume 1 kg of durian is 4 ringgit and 1 kg of jackfruit is 7 ringgit. So, you imagine 4 ringgit plus 7 ringgit, you get 11. So, it makes a lot of sense. And then the question is the difference of the price between 3 kg of durian and 1 kg of jackfruit is 5. So, you imagine if durian is 4 ringgit, 4 multiple 3, you got 12 ringgit. And jackfruit is 7, correct or not? So 12 minus 7, you get 5. Therefore, I know my answer is correct. Okay, so this question asks you to find what is the price of 1 kg of jackfruit. So the answer will be 7 ringgit. Okay, I hope this short video actually can help you understand about this question. Yeah, this kind of simultaneous question actually is quite different with what you learn in your modern math. However, it's, it's not something like impossible to understand. So I hope this question do help you. If, if you do not understand about elimination method, you want me to make another video about substitution method, I can do that. Yeah, just post a comment below, on, either on my YouTube or, my, or on my Facebook. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video.